Uh, so I'm Reggie Jean, uh, and I'm here with uh, Emily Walton. So we're both part of uh, the Upper Bound Math Science programs at Boston University, and uh, we're happy to be here. I, I do want to sort of um, make a connection between, so Mel King was brought up, uh, and so I think it was a great connection that Eli made regarding the work that we all do and the importance of equity, diversity, inclusion. A part of Upper Bound Math Science's work, sorry. The program, uh, part of, it, it's uh, a uh, very uh, rigorous uh, five-week uh, program, uh, so you're the in the classroom four uh, days a week taking five classes uh, a day. With, um, You've got uh, homework President for Johnson's all of those classes. Uh, so You've that began got your tutor time and the genesis and of programs and you're going to build a project that you're going to present at the end of the summer. You have to manage your time well. You have to be successful in college. work on time. So that really benefited me before going to college. I found it to be not only valuable as a teacher to participate in, but I think it's a great um, program Boston, for students Chelsea, uh, and really gets them used uh, to that balancing act between programming, and, uh, support, uh, high uh, and academic, academic prep standards. to go on to careers in STEM. Uh, specifically, you know, what we're like looking at today is um, computer science. Was um, so students come after school twice a week during the school year. They get help with college students and so that near peer uh, model that uh, folks have been talking about like, to get support with their homework, but also to get that mentoring. the first time Take I heard about this classes program that help is them they'd come into your school uh, graduate they do from like high school and prepare for college class. and cast prep, and I heard about SAT it through prep, there. and get and help I was really interested, college, especially because it was a summer program. Aid. But not only um, that, I just really wanted an opportunity to like advance to my learning. It's one thing to expose students to careers, but it's also making sure that they're prepared to go into college to pursue those careers. And then during the summer, students live on campus. So they're in one tower over there, uh, and so they are in the dormitories, the they're the um, you know, eating the meals, you they're um, getting the connections like to the, the work, college students, they're taking people. the so math and science class they take with Upper Bound Math Science during the summer, it's the same math and science class they'll take in high schools the following year, so it's a chance to do that foundation work, so then when they go back to school, they're um, very familiar with the, the, the content that, that they're um, encountering. Like the so the, and, the you know, we've been able to partner with a lot of folks in this room um, throughout the years, so when doing it on their own, exposing them to, um, to labs, uh, exposing them to a lot of the STEM the uh, that they, uh, like, we want them to consider as they um, go through high school and go on uh, to college. And I'll pass it over to Emily. Um, so one of the reasons we do the work we do is um, represented by the data shown in this um, graph from the National Science Foundation. Sorry. Um, and on the top bar, you can see um, the general population between 18 and 34 years old. Um, Black and African-American students are represented by orange and uh, Latinx students are represented by brown. The bottom bar uh, represented, represents um, the same sort of racial and ethnic uh, breakdown amongst uh, people who receive bachelor's degrees in science and engineering fields. Um, so there's an obvious disparity there, which is what we're trying to uh, work toward fixing. Um, there's also some interesting data at the bottom from the Massachusetts Business Alliance for Education, which suggests um, la last year, two years ago, um, that while 78% of Massachusetts public high school or high schools in general, uh, oh, public high schools offer computer science only 5.6 or 5.8 percent of Massachusetts high school students actually enroll in those classes. Um, as Reggie mentioned, um, all of our upward bound math science students take computer science with us over the summer, every summer that they're uh, part of our program. Um, and in addition to supporting students academically, um, we also try to provide access to opportunities that builds their confidence and belonging in um, STEM fields so that they can major in STEM and persist in STEM post-secondary. Um, and uh, one avenue for doing that is, um, you know, leveraging the faculty and staff, uh, graduate students at BU to provide experiential learning opportunities for students while they're in our program in high school. Um, and so the top three are specific to computing opportunities that we've had. Um, with people in this room. Um, so right now, um, Will Tomlinson mentioned this earlier, students currently are taking um, a machine learning uh, using Python um, sort of workshop. Um, with SAIL, um, this summer we had a couple students intern with uh, Professor Ian Sue Wing um, using 
accessible climate data um, to build some modeling that shows what's happening. Um, and then Eli Tucker Raymond hosted some of our students last year um, to look at um, kind of how computing and hip hop can be kind of put together. Um, and they used, well, I'm not gonna butcher it, but they there's a picture here um, to make beats and kind of put together some music themselves, which was pretty cool. Um, and we don't just do computing. This is like a, a view of some of the other subjects and um, disciplines um, that we try to provide exposure to. But, um, you know, computing, as probably the people in this room know, is foundational to kind of all of the STEM disciplines these days. Um, so one quick last slide um, to get involved. We are always recruiting faculty, staff, graduate students, postdocs to host a group of our students um, in, in a lab in your space um, to work on the research that you're already working on and to kind of see what you're, what you're doing um, through, like I said, experiential learning opportunities. Um, and that could be over the summer for three days. It could be during a vacation week, like right now students are on vacation and they're in the sale office. Um, but there are other opportunities up there. I have flyers if anyone's interested, but feel free to reach out.